Charles Revson, founder of Revlon Cosmetics, famously said, we don't sell cosmetics, we sell hope. That's just an interesting take on the cosmetics industry, which is larger than the dental industry. It's a billion dollar industry, multiple billion dollars of industry. The last time I looked at those numbers, cosmetics sold about four times as much as dentistry. And yet they don't make people look as good as we can as dentists. So what did he say? And what did he mean? He meant that he wanted people to think about a future that's brighter. Now, when we live in the past, and we think about the things in the past that we can't control, we get depressed. When we're in the future, we're anxious. We're always thinking about like what can happen. And you know, for me, who's been doing this for many, many years, and I've been practicing for years and teaching for years, I often get caught up in this. How often? Maybe five to 10 times a day, I'm thinking about the future. That future can be like what's gonna happen in the next hour where I'm gonna be doing a surgical procedure, or it can be a lecture that I have to prepare that I'm not gonna give for three or four months from now. Or it can be, you know, one of my children that's gonna going through something. And when I am in the future, what am I full of? Fear and anxiety. It's not a good place to be because I can't do anything about the future. All I can do about is this one moment. So when my patients come into my practice, or whenever your patients come into your practices, realize this, they're full of fear. They're full of anxiety. The dental office is one of the unsafest places in people's minds. It's not an unsafe place. It's actually a very safe place, but for patients, it's very unsafe. Why is it unsafe for them? Because they've had bad experiences. They've paid more money than they wanted. They don't look as good as they thought they were going to look. They were in pain, you know, et cetera. And they heard all sorts of stories. So when a patient comes into me and for the first visit, they think oftentimes that they're the worst patient I've ever seen. They're the worst mouth I've ever seen. They go, you've never seen a mouth this bad. Well, I have my own mouth because I, as many of you may know, I have 23 crowns and I've lost nine teeth and I have a full mouth rehabilitation. So I can relate. All of you don't have that experience of going through a significant amount of dental uh, pro, you know, processes, but you've gone through other things in your life. You know, we've all gone through things. So I relate to my patients by telling them about my situation. And I also show them befores and afters of other patients that have gone through similar things. We have a number of Google reviews online that can make them feel better. You know, I can look at over 3,000 reviews we have. We have 200 videos online. I have about 500 cases online, befores and afters. So I can always choose a case that this young female might be able to relate to, or this older male might be able to relate to, or someone who's losing a lot of teeth and gonna have implants, or even if it's a single front tooth. I always have those cases. So I try to offer them hope. And that hope makes them feel more secure. I'm not going to be able to alleviate all my patients' anxiety. I know that. But I'm going to give them the hope that there's a better future. And when I give my patients a hope for a better future, guess what? They sign up for treatment. Not that this is a sales pitch. It's a comforting pitch. The more comfortable my patients are, your patients are, in your chair, the more apt they are to trust you. Because when you give someone hope, you're also giving them the ability to trust you. And in a high trust environment, people feel safe and cared for, and they want that. Don't you? Don't you want that no matter what you're going through? You know, I am not a big financial guy, okay? I make money in my practice, but I'm not very good at investing, and I don't really understand all that, nor do I really care about it. And so when I'm with my investment guy, now his name is Todd, Todd Feldman, and I'm with him. He makes me feel secure. He tells me what's going to go on. When I'm with Kane Waters, my advisor for my practice, they show me where I'm going to be. And 20 years ago, they said where I was going to be at 65. And they gave me hope for a good future. In fact, I was in a better position at 65 than what they told me to be. Because they gave a tremendous amount of value. As Daryl Kane, founder, says, you want to provide more value than the money you receive. So next time you're with a patient, whether it's a patient of record or especially a new patient, Give them a lot of value. And that value starts by making them feel comfortable, not ill at ease. Don't make them feel bad because of what they're going through. Don't look at it and say, it's the worst mouth I've ever seen. Just look at them and say, I'm going to take good care of you. I've seen this before. You're in the right place. I'm the right person to do this for. And it's not just me. It's my entire team. I have a huge team with me. You know, I have an IT guy, Jose, who's been with me for eight years. He makes everything we look more beautiful. He creates these videos that you're doing, seeing right now. He makes everything look good, and that makes patients feel good. I have an administrative team that is the best, okay? I have Chelsea. I have Karen. I have Taylor. I have Ashley. 
and now Alex. I have five people in our administrative team whose job it is to make patients feel safe and secure. I don't do it all. We've created a team to do that. So next time, next time you're with a patient, whether it's this afternoon or tomorrow or next week, be very sensitive to where that patient is. Offer them a future that's more positive than their present, and you are going to be flooded with happy, healthy patients that are going to be seeking out your service. It's the greatest gift we can give them. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks for listening.